anyways uh, see this is uh, basically a uh, 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 ranking cycle in this in a steam turbine again uh, if you see and remember uh, the points one two three four uh, we have point one and two where the water is pumped okay the work done on on the steam on the sorry fluid and two to three is uh, where you have uh, you add the uh, heat uh, and then at point three you send it to the turbine and uh, from three to four the expansion takes place and four to one is condenser and back to the pump so this is uh, basically a basic cycle okay there are various exceptions also if you go for super critical steam and then uh, raise the temperatures and pressures then you have some other form of uh, graphs here but this is a uh, basically basic uh, uh, ranking cycle used uh, for a uh, used for a steam turbine since we are not going to very details on uh, digging deep into the steam turbine design so i'm just going covering at the basic level so at the point uh, one and two see basically the cycle efficiency the complete cycle efficiency is network output by the cycle by uh, uh, by the heat supply to the uh, system okay so at the top, if you, if you see at the formulas at the right side, if you have, if you have the basic thermodynamics and physics uh, uh, as uh, knowledge, uh, you will basically be, uh, know these uh, uh, formulas. Okay, so the so, so basically <clears throat> the network done in this cycle is the pump work and the uh, turbine work. So if you see at the uh, top. Uh, I, I think it is uh, W prime, WP prime, which is basically uh, WP prime is uh, work done by the pump, which is equal to H2 minus H1, basically it will be, uh, uh, and which is again equal to P2 minus P1 by density of the water. Density of the water remains cons uh, constant for the ideal cycle. And then for the turbine work, we have uh, uh, H3 minus H4, H3 minus H4. So the, so the total total net is uh, H3 H1 minus H2 minus minus of H3 minus H4, which is the uh, net work done, and the Q in is uh, H3 minus H2. Okay, so basically it is Q QP prime which is, or uh, H3 minus H2 H3 minus H2, which is the basically uh, heat supplied uh, to the system. So then. Uh, if you see at the bottom, we have uh, efficiency of the complete ranking cycle is W P prime by net and uh, W net prime by Q N prime. This is the basic uh, uh, cycle efficiency of a steam turbine. Okay, uh, unfortunately, do not have a more proper mouse here. Uh, I would have shown you. Okay, uh, see at the top, you if you. If you know about the hashed lines in the CAD or the AutoCAD. Uh, in this uh, figure, it's a simple impulse turbine. Okay, see, I'm, I'm, again, I'm going to take a very simple uh, turbine. Uh, and uh, at the bottom, oh, sorry, at the top portion, uh, you know, uh, there is a dashed line in between the top portion and the bottom portion, which is the center line of the shaft. Uh, so the top portion is the cut portion of a steam turbine of one single blade stationary blade and rotating it okay and the bottom portion is actually will depict uh, the okay at the top portion we have the entry a blade and the exhaust uh, and the uh, outlet you can consider the outlet so steam entering is inlet and the uh, and the blades uh, which is attached to the uh, rotor is a uh, blade in, in between, and then uh, we have a blade outlet, blade stator, and we have a nozzle. Okay, the bottom portion is we it will be depicted in terms of a graph, where you can see the pressure and uh, velocity uh, playing, and we have a loss, uh, loss velocity, and the condenser pressure at the bottom. So if you see uh, the steam entering the steam will be entering in a very high which a very high velocity very low velocity and very high pressure okay here uh, at the steam entering there is there are three parts okay we have a subsonic part just at the entry of the steam and after some time the nozzle 
uh, diameter reduces which is uh, sonic and uh, after that the diameter increases in the in the, like a cone increases which is a uh, supersonic uh, uh, flow so that is uh, sent onto the uh, rotor blade and uh, steam is impacts on the rotor blade uh, and uh, the, uh, the the uh, blade which is attached to the rotor is uh, will rotate okay there is a blade or rotor the sea at the bottom you will see a dark sea uh, like uh, symbols they are very thick and the, the, these are they are basically profile of the rotor blades uh, so the left side is considered as inlet or the trailing edge and the right side is considered, uh, considered as outlet or trailing edge and uh, in the, the bottom you see the graph the blue color indicates the pressure high, uh, initially it is high pressure then it passes to the uh, rotor blades the pressure decreases and velocity also has the same thing it decreases in the rotor blade and remains constant uh, in the next stator blade and decreases further in the next uh, uh, rotor blade okay so this is very simple uh, you know uh, explanation of what happens in steam turbine now we are done with the steam turbine whatever i wanted to speak whatever I have, whatever our knowledge i have i spoke about it and now uh, we will uh, focus a little about uh, gas turbine. Again, gas gas turbine is a device delivering mechanical power or thrust. The gas, uh, the jet, uh, uh, sorry, uh, basically industrial turbine, uh, tar gas turbines are used to power, uh, pro produce power. Now, if you if you say it is producing thrust, means it is a jet propulsion uh, uh, engine. Okay, it, it is used in the aircraft. There are lots of other types of uh, turbo prop, uh, turbo fan, turbo jet, and uh, then other, ty other types of uh, you know using propellers also, um, which is uh, basically comes under jet propulsion uh, classification. And you have industrial turbines that used uh, power instead of power or electricity generation, which are basically industry gas turbines. Which are uh, basically if you think about the jet propulsion, it is uh, considered using the uh, uh, power produced which is in terms of thrust of number of pounds or number of kgs uh, uh, thrust uh, if it is a gas turbine then you rate it as uh, megawatts uh, kilo, uh, kilowatts or megawatts uh, in what, whatever the rating of the gas turbine is so the gaseous fluid coming out of the gas turbine uh, is used to generate the thrust which is in the jet propulsion the major application of a gas turbine is in the aviation which i have already spoken aviation jet propulsion and uh, we have power generation which have already said then we have in the oil and uh, gas industry also basically uh, you know skids skids are something like uh, uh, which you have in the ocean very huge area and then they produce gas oil and uh, gas i think they are basically called skids you can uh, you can also have gas turbines in those fields as well we have marine uh, propulsion also uh and propulsion to use for ships to, to develop uh, to you know uh, proper, uh, you know to move forward the uh, ship you can use this uh, gas turbines also uh, so on and so forth a lot, lot of applications as well uh, as we discovered uh, sorry discussed about uh, the steam turbine cycle first we will see uh, this uh, uh, gas turbine uh, power plant uh, power plant uh, basically we have three, uh, three parts which are the major uh, major of uh, majority of the uh, you know parts are uh, considered is the compressor you can see at the point point one where the gas is entering the compressor and it is uh, compressed or raised uh, the uh, pressure, pressure. Uh, some and the pressure ratio could be somewhere between one, uh, one, uh, 1 to 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 20 or 1 is to 40 also maximum and then uh, the compressed uh, air is uh, mixed with uh, fuel and uh, this is ignited and in the combustion chamber the fuel mix air uh, air mixture is burnt and then from that uh, the energy is uh, sent on to the um, uh, turbine wheel uh, which which in turn uh, rotates uh, the compressor uh, and then uh, uh, the shaft also is connected to an alternator just like a steam turbine and uh, the alternator where actually the 
uh, electricity is produced and here you can see at the point 4 the uh, outer parameters are sent to the atmosphere pressure and gas to be anything so this is an open circle same as the previous slide except that instead of a combustion chamber between two uh, two and three we have a heat exchanger where the heat is added and sent to the, uh, sent to the turbine and at the point four uh, you the heat hot exhaust gases are sent to the heat exchanger they are reduce the temperature and then use the same air can be used to send to the compressor this is a uh, closed cycle uh, gas turbine power plant earlier it was open cycle gas turbine power plant same as this one we have um, uh, we have uh, t and s uh, plot temperature and entropy plot and w we also have from one to two the comp compressed uh, the air is compressed and two to three it is heat. Heat is added three to four. The, uh, the expansion takes place, and uh, four to one. If, the, if it is a closed cycle uh, gas turbine plant, like a heat exchanger in, in between, it is closed, or there will be no line between four. Which the line stops at four, which is an open cycle. Okay. You have other formulas also uh, also here. Uh, uh, the complete cycle. This this circle is called as Joule cycle or a Breton cycle, uh, basic uh, cycle for a gas turbine, uh, and uh, the complete cycle efficiency is given by WT, uh, w, w net prime by QN. Okay, one and two QN is there, and uh, sorry, three and four QN is there. W, uh, WT, WT prime, W compression, sorry, one, one and two. And uh, three and four WT prime uh, tur uh, turbine work. Working principle basically it is uh, the working gas is sucked in the inlet, inlet compressor compresses the working gas. Uh, the heat of the combustion fuel and the working gas uh, mix is uh, taking place in the combustor, and the uh, combustor inlet is burned, and then the heat heated gas expands in the turbine, extracting energy from the working fluid, and the hot gases leave the nozzle or exhaust in the atmosphere, which is open, and or which is used for some other purposes, like, uh, uh, um, you know, creating a HRSG, heat to a steam generator, or combined cycle power plant, which is a closed one, uh, then uh, uh, it is a closed circle, uh, sorry, closed uh, gas turbine power plant. The main parts uh, basically of a gas turbine are the compressor, burner, or the combustion chamber, or you can call it as a combustor, and then a turbine. And you have a host of other parts. The first, these three parts are taken care of. I mean, in terms of if you consider design, these three uh, considered, and then only other uh, parts will be uh, you know, designed. Okay. Same, uh, this is again uh, depicted like this uh, other uh, gas turbine cycle, which is a very simple. Uh, gas turbine cycle again the air enters the compressor it compresses to uh, a certain pressure ratio then the uh, the gas uh, also the temperature increases and then to the combustion chamber where the combustion takes place with the air, air fuel mix uh, air fuel mixture and then uh, the hot gases are sent onto the turbine and from turbine it is uh, exhaust gases which is left for the atmosphere and uh, you can see power output also which is where the shaft is connected to the arc. Okay, these are the basic uh, three, you know, uh, actual parts, a uh, fat section of the typical uh, gas turbine. This is an industrial uh, gas turbine. Uh, you have a shaft in between, then we have a compressor, combustion chamber, and a turbine. The red color part is a turbine. This is another example of an industrial gas turbine. Uh, we have a natural gas line, and uh, we have a combustion chamber. We have a, a Air intake, compressor and a turbine, and uh, we have a compression chamber, and then we have an exhaust. You can see the shaft from the turbines, or the gas turbine is connected to the generator, where actually the electricity is generated from there it is sent to the transfer. This is the industrial gas turbine. Okay, this is another example. One is the intake, second is the, uh, you can consider that a fan, third is the compressor, four is the, uh, another, uh, you can, three you can consider as a, low pressure uh, compressor four high pressure compressor five uh, combustion chamber six and uh, uh, six and seven you can consider high pressure turbine and uh, seven as a low pressure turbine nine is the bypass uh, gas eight is the exhaust exhaust the atmosphere it's a typical uh, jet engine that i was talking about okay you have uh, other uh, uh, surface that you can use uh, to analyze uh, the complete 
uh, yeah, if you have gone to a CFD or a, a numerical methods or you have a finite element analysis, okay, and you, when you are about to develop a new product, you actually, uh, you know, uh, come up with some sort of dimensions and analyze it uh, in a uh, software and then you feel good uh, and then only you can go for um, producing a prototype. You know, instead of producing the prototype mechanically, manually, then testing it and redoing it, it which is uh, very fast and time consuming. So in order to get rid of that, you can develop a prototype on uh, a software and analyze it. For those uh, software, we have uh, ANSYS from the ANSYS. We have AXtreme. Uh, we have Concept, NREC, OpenFORM, CF, uh, CF Turbo, and the new maker. Uh, star CCM plus etc all other tools uh, ANSYS and uh, Extreme can be used exclusively gas turbine and steam turbine uh, uh, Extreme is used for gas turbine and steam turbine uh, design ANSYS also can be used uh, because the ANSYS also has so many facilities for uh, uh, analyzing turbo machinery products also Okay, the type of companies that uh, the, that the uh, turbo machinery uh, can be used for is aeronautical, space uh, research, automobiles, energy and utilities. You have pharmaceutical companies. Pharmaceutical companies uh, use the gas turbine to generate electricity to consume that electricity within the factory premises. Similarly, with the oil, oil refine, uh, sorry, refineries and oil and gas fields also. Job goals, you have all kinds of job goals if you want. After you are uh, B H B uh, Tech or bachelor's or uh, make a, make M Tech uh, masters, uh, you can go for PhD research in turbo machinery. Then uh, you have certain design roles like design engineer. You, know, you can design various parts of uh, turbo machinery. Uh, once you design, uh, you also have op optional roles for safety engineer, uh, thermal systems, and uh, we have design manager, project engineer, or project manager. Uh, you also, you know, once you know about turbo machinery, then you can go for maintenance in here or uh, stress or finite element analysis uh, analyst also. Uh, then also you have some kind of boiler thermal performance engineer. Uh, these are some some small uh, small number of roles that you can expect in the uh, after you know turbo machinery.